Welcome back to the Shadowlands. I do hope you enjoy this second part of the video as I was forced to cut the last one short. This one is entitled The Hunter. I find myself on an old road, almost abandoned. It is a highway that stretches for miles. No buildings to be found. No hope for any unlucky enough to have car problems. The road is not far from a great forest, thick and haunted. Many legends tell of bad creatures that dwell in these woods. Creatures that crave flesh, animal, and human. But humans are foolish creatures. They are often attracted to places they should not be. Stories meant to keep the curious away often attract those that want to know the truth. Unfortunately, sometimes the truth is better left unknown. Hikers and thrill seekers have entered my woods. None has ever returned. Native American folklore are full of sinister beings. Wendigo, dogmen, skinwalkers, Sasquatch, and Thunderbirds to name but a few. A group of people came to these woods. They were planning on investigating paranormal activity and to spend a week here. Not one bought offerings, <laughs> but it would not have helped. I care little for such trinkets. I watched them and listened. Two women, a blonde and a skinny brunette, and two guys, one larger than the other one, were in the group. They had cameras, recorders, and other stuff I have no idea what it was for. But the foolish humans had no weapons. No gun or knife. I could have smelt the oil and the gunpowder. A single cross dripped around the blonde girl's neck. <laughs> Oh, how I'm going to enjoy this group. <laughs> I am good at hiding. I have done so for a very, very long time. I can hear and see better than humans can. So from trees and in shadows... I watched them set up their equipment. I found their old vehicle. The type of Jeep you would think of when you heard the word Jeep. It smelled of oil and fuel. I almost gagged when I crept close to it. Opening the hood, I yanked off the spark plug wires, stole the battery, 
and gently closed the hood back. That's when I slashed all of their tires. Then as quietly as I came, I left. When they realized what happened to their Jeep, they were upset. But they decided to stay and do what they want to do. It was then that they realized their phones don't work out here. If they came to hear things in the woods, I can play that game. Rocks were thrown. Ungodly howls were heard. Strange beast haunted their recorders. It's not often that I get to play with my food. I shall have to enjoy it while it lasts. The first to go was the skinny brunette. She had to excuse herself from the group to find some bushes and do what humans do when they drink too much water. My poor dear. She did not have time to even scream. The smaller of the men came looking for her. Moments later, he lay dead on the ground. His neck snapped like a twig. I hid the bodies in my lair. Carrying them with ease. No, my feast would not start yet. There were still two more to play with. They yelled and called for their companions throughout the night. They only found the paw prints of a large mountain lion. Too close to camp. It is so fun to play with my food. I bet now they wish they bought a gun. <laughs> that would have made it even more fun. The man was called Jay, and the girl, the blonde with the cross, was Melissa. I overheard them speaking and now I have a way to separate them. She cried at the loss of her friend. As Jay circled the camp looking for any signs of danger, he would find none. The only danger in these woods are me. It was so cute. Even made traps with bells attached to them. A string encircling the camp. Little bells hanging from the string. I almost laughed and gave myself away. As Jay was sleeping, the girl was awake, praying to her God that did not care to come into my woods. <clears throat> she 
She heard her name. Melissa, help me. She came from her tent. Following my voice. Going farther into the woods. She thought me to be the other guy and that I was injured. Without hesitation, she followed. The whole time she failed to realize an odd looking deer with very loose skin was watching her. When she came near my cave, I attacked. Claws slicing through her fence. As easy as a knife through hot butter. She screamed loudly. I sliced her again. The more she screamed, the more I sliced. I warned the man, Jay, to come. I was done playing games. And I hunger now. That hunger must be fed. He ran toward me. As she lay on the ground bleeding from her throat, my teeth ripping out her fears and her screams. Jay was the largest of the four. Let's see how brave he really is. He yelled and ran toward me. I only smiled. Blood shamed my sharpened teeth, my claws and chest. As he grew near, he thought I was a psychopathic human. Oh, how wrong he could be, for I am so much more. Dark magic has twisted me into a true predator. He swung and missed. I knocked him to the ground, pinning him very easily. As he squirmed and wiggled, I only laughed. He's not getting away. my hands on his face I made him look at mine <laughs> oh the look on his face when he soiled himself my face began to twist and change into a white deer a large mountain lion and a man, a man with golden yellow eyes of a mountain lion. He fought desperately. I only smiled as he wiggled. He called me demon, devil, hell spawn and monster, telling me to go back to hell. Oh, 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 I laughed. I laughed and sucked his fear up. Such a foolish, foolish creature. I held his face down, his head from moving. My 
yellow eyes looked into his and spoke just one word. Skinwalker. He blinked. And I yelled, Skinwalker. That was the last thing he ever saw. And oh, he was the best tasting one out of all of them. How I savored his roasted body. Skinwalkers can take various shapes, change voices, and have a craving for human flesh. Witches turned by dark powers and one of the most elusive monsters in all of Native American folklore. It was fun to let my mind wander and write this entertaining piece.